One day when we lived in camping, big, big bomb near our house. Oh my God, every caravans and every camping is, uh, bomb and the fire start huge and huge oh my gosh was that that's very terrible all all people shouting uh, I don't know what 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 can I do I I want to help them but but I can't because it's very huge when the ambulance and uh, and firefighters came they can't they can't uh, reduce this because very huge very huge fire oh my gosh all shouting uh, i i i lost my friend my friend there and uh, inside i want to go there and, and take them but i can't i i lost i lost them they are they did i know many friends there they did <laughs> and yeah. in the morning, every, you see all everything is gone. Yeah. <laughs> this is the, the, the tree. Just the in big one moment, tree everything is gone. Go. Everything is going. Yeah. yeah. Um, I lost every dream there. Really, when when someone can't find care in in your place. Uh, and everything is dark, no any spotlight, oh my God. They, they can't live there. They can't find some place to say welcoming and say we are here, we can help you, we can support you. Good evening, everyone. Uh, first of all, um, I would like to, to thank the Canadian Ethnic Media Association for this honor tonight. Um, I really thank Madeline, Madeline, Bill, and everybody that forms part of uh, this wonderful association. Tonight, this award for me is very, very special for two reasons. The first one is because I never thought that I would actually be a recipient being on this side of the stage. And some of you who know the story, you know what I'm talking about. Um, the other reason is because when we created the Healing Portraits Project, um, the intention was to create a documentary that would showcase and bring to people, uh, bring to light, really, the challenges that refugees face when, when leaving their homeland. Um, and uh, we, we truly wanted to make sure that documentary also removed that label that unfortunately, unfortunately, is still used out there. So um, it's, it's been very special. We truly, I want to thank um, Sarah and Karene, um, who came on board with, with this project. Uh, thank our artists, Nicole, Heather, and Songmi, and our three uh, interviewees who uh, opened their hearts to tell us their story. I'm just going to briefly pass the mic to my colleagues. I'll thank Arna Rickard for the music and the City of Burlington Arts and Culture for our starting grant. And just know that all the portraits that were painted of each of these stories and these people were given to the people whose story they came from. And deeply thank you for these wonderful and prestigious awards. Thank you very much.